a lot of what I'm trying to do with the class is to, again, is to, is to reiterate, you know what? The stuff you're learning in this class is gonna be out of date really quickly. You know, two years best. But that's fine. That is not a reason not to take the class. That is not a reason to be excited about the class because what I'm really teaching you isn't just how to do this today. It's about where are the resources so that you can be always learning. I have a student, a former student, who uh, works in the pay-per-click uh, advertising space. And she says that at her firm, they are expected between nine and 10 o'clock every morning to read blogs about the industry. And then if they see something that's interesting, you know, share that around and you know, have the sort of proverbial water cooler conversation. You know, that's the kind of thing that I, I want the students to realize, that, that after they graduate, they're not expected to just know everything at that point. Their expectation is that they need to learn. And so it gets back to what I was saying before. You don't go, college, you don't go to college to learn a specific thing. You go to college so that you can become a lifelong learner so that you are always learning. And that's why I use that hashtag. It's just, that, it's just, to, just to reiterate that, that it's not what you're learning today that's really important, it's that you're learning how you learn. It's, how, it's, it's you're learning how to learn, because that's how you sort of have not just a successful career, but a successful life. I really look to the students, and I look to the alumni, and I look to all the other resources that, that I'm using to put together the class to keep me up to date. And so I always start with every class. I'm like, you know, so anything interesting in digital marketing? And so I think the way that I always keep learning is, is, is having this, this sense of humility that, that just because I'm the, the, the professor, I'm not the Socratic sage on the stage. In, in many ways, I think of myself more of a conductor than a professor. The main reason why I like teaching this subject is because I don't, I'm learning, I'm learning new stuff all the time. And, and, and that's what I think is the most valuable thing about, about being a, um, a professor is, is that I'm encouraged to always be learning. And I want to share that sort of love of learning with everybody else. I do a session at the end of the quarter on digital activism. How do people use the skills that, that we've talked about to try and make the world a better place? I'm not talking about like Patagonia having a cool hashtag to encourage people to buy environmentally or something. I'm talking about like, you know, what, you know, what can we learn from Black Lives Matter? What can we learn from Arab Spring? What can we learn from the Parkland kids? What can we learn from sort of the anti-hate groups in Europe and things like that? That's the thing I'm most excited about is, is, is having the students understand that the knowledge that they've gotten isn't just going to necessarily help them in their careers, isn't necessarily going to help their boss promote their products. It can really make the world a better place in the way and, and, and how powerful that knowledge is. My class really sort of leads to this very easily. Um, you know, a lot of digital marketing is about blogging. A lot of digital marketing is about Google. You know, a lot about a lot about digital marketing is using web tools and things like that. But I guess at the at its core, what I think is generalizable about my class across other disciplines is this sense of of creating community um, and creating community not just within the classroom, not just within the uh, the the alumni, but just also the people that are interested in that topic overall. So I think what I would really encourage any faculty that are reading or that are learning about these open educational practices is how can you get as many students as possible into that larger learning community? And, um, and, and I would imagine that you can do that no matter what topic you're teaching.